So hi guys, welcome to my channel Technos and I am Dabha. Today we are gonna solve a problem which occurs while running Hadoop. So you must have come across a situation or problem saying shutting down name node or data node or resource manager or node manager. So guys what happens is usually this error, this runtime error I would say is thrown when your system is unable to get file permissions and then your program or process exits and the message is shown shutting down name node at pc name or shutting down resource manager or shutting down name node or data node so we are going to solve it today let's see how so firstly i'll show you what this error looks like let me open my cmd command prompt let me check which version of Hadoop I have installed or I have installed or not. Hadoop dash version. No, Hadoop version. Okay, so I have Hadoop 3.1.3 installed in my system. Let me also check for Java. Java dash version. So I have 1.8.0 underscore 261 version installed so okay now I'm gonna format my name node so before formatting my name node I'll advise you guys to delete the subdirectories in your name node and data node folders so I'm gonna delete them first Windows C Hadoop data data node and name node so I'm gonna delete everything in this folder and name node folder too empty both are empty now I'm gonna run the hdfs name node dash format command Okay, so it runs successfully. Now I'm gonna change my directory to C Hadoop and S bin. Hadoop dash 3.1.3 slash S bin. Now I'm gonna start my name node and data node. Start dash DFS dot CMD. my name node and data node started successfully now I'm gonna run my resource manager and node manager so for that I'll run start dash yarn dot cmd yarn demons okay so you can see here shutting down node manager at my laptop name and my IP address So this error you can see here is shown when you haven't installed or updated your current version of Microsoft Visual C++. So Microsoft Visual C++ is an integrated development environment, uh, a product from Microsoft for the C, C++ and CLI programming languages. So we are going to install it now in my system and I'll provide you the link in my description for that. Let me minimize it. Microsoft Visual C++. I have a 64-bit version, 64-bit system. So I'll download this one. Okay, it downloaded. I'm gonna run it now. Installing, yes.
Okay, successful. Now we're gonna run the whole process again. I'm closing it. Now I'm opening CMD. HDFS main node dash format. Okay, what I've told you guys always delete the subdirectories or sub files in the main node and data node folder. So I'm gonna do it now because last time I run it, some files were created there. So I'm gonna delete them. Delete. Delete. I want to run it. Okay, now I'm going to change the directory. cd cd Hadoop dash 3.1.3 slash as bin. Okay, now start dfs dot cmd for running my data node and name node. They are running successfully. Now start Xi'an dot cmd for running my node manager and resource manager. So let's see if the error comes or not. So as we can see, my name node data node, resource manager and resource and node manager all are working successfully. So let's see so there is a command for that to check if all your nodes are working correctly or not. So GPS command. So we can see my name node, data node, resource manager and node manager. All four are running successfully. If any one of them is not running successfully, then it will not be shown here. Okay. So as I've as I've told you, you have to delete the sub files in the name node and data node folder in order to run it successfully and install or update your Microsoft Visual C++. That's it from my side, guys. Please like my video if you if it helped you in any way. Thank you. And do subscribe my channel.